Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for September 4th, Saturday, 2021, 3 p.m. Eastern. In these bodies, and we're talking from the, the body standpoint, <clears throat> not the God, excuse me. We all need space. We need space from each other and even from ourselves. We need time to, to look deeper inside ourselves and explore everything that is really there. The more we can investigate the mystery of our innermost spiritual nature, the more we can free ourselves from pain and the more liberated we can become. We all know that our minds are always thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh, it constantly repeats itself, living in a very narrowed, focused state, always dreaming of the future or the past. The mind is like a movie projector with a bunch of movie critics sitting behind it. And the mind is always judging us and others, interpreting what it should believe, and holding on to a large personal selection of ideas that it thinks, that it thinks are yours. To bring the mind into harmony... We, we, need to, we need something extremely spacious and infinitely peaceful to balance all these thoughts out. There is an infinite dimension of space in the outer world. Now, I don't know, have you ever looked up into the empty sky at night and been utterly amazed by the infinite space above you? There is no end to this universe. It is infinite. There are extensions, connections. It is in, it's infinite. So there might be a synthetic universe, and there's organic universes, and then there's liquid universes. I mean, it just continues and continues. This universe, it goes on and on forever and ever. This can ultimately bring the mind into a state of peace. If it can let go and merge with the infinity that surrounds us. Yet, what I find even more intriguing is that the macrocosmic universe mirrors the microcosm within us. Mirrors. Okay? The macrocosm universe mirrors the microcosm within us. There is also an infinity of space inside each and every one of us. That goes forever deep within our inner world. By connecting with this unending in, in internal space inside our being, we step into a spiritual dimension of life. Then we can finally rest and find true inner peace within the seeming chaos and craziness of the outer world. The great balancing agent we need to discover is relaxing into this infinite space that is above us and within the source of consciousness. Whenever we access a state of pure consciousness, we begin to shift from living in the constant thinking machine of the head to resting in the source of pure awareness in our hearts. By learning how to abide in the heart of consciousness, we'll tap into one of the most divine, expansive, spacious, and precious experiences a human being can have. When you calm your mind and your senses, you become conscious of your always present inner self. When you calm your mind and your senses, you become conscious of your always present inner self, Ramez Hassan. The heart of consciousness can be easily found when we practice resting in the space between our thoughts. The more we can relax here, the easier it is to deal with everything life throws our way. If a deeply unsettling emotional situation arises, you can sit back, relax into the space between thoughts and allow the emotions to percolate and move through you. When you can fully experience them from this spacious detached place, 
it's so effortless to let them go. Everything we do throughout our day becomes easier when we live in this awareness between our thoughts. Life itself is simply more vast, multidimensional and spacious. This does not mean that we're becoming more of a space cadet. We're actually being more present to what is happening in the here and now. We are genuinely happy and can experience just about anything that is happening without getting upset or triggered. This is really important. A lot of people are experience this where you can get triggered or upset. It could be just nothing really, but it could be interacting with someone or viewing things, situations, and you have to just, excuse me, be very careful without getting upset or triggered. Spaciousness allows us to feel a sensation of timelessness so that we can relax when facing a deadline and find peace no matter what pressure life's agenda may have on us. With the gift of spaciousness, we'll naturally become a more centered, grounded human being who is able to observe our experience rather than be desperately driven by the reactive ego demanding personality. Even more impressive is the creation of an unlimited spaciousness within the meditator. This infinite spaciousness exceeds the concept of self, our normal limits, thus our abilities and wisdom also become limitless. Master Jimbohi. Another beautiful gift we will find from cultivating this inner spacious quality is a healthy sense of connection with the outer world. When our eternal presence, in other words, who you truly are, is realized all day long, you no longer become overly attached to anything or anyone. Everything of this world, your body, house, clothes, money, friends, family, etc., is understood to be transient and impermanent. You have more gratitude and compassion for everyone and all your things because of this impermanence. Intellectually, we can conceive that we are much more than these worldly attachments. Yet, when we live every day with this feeling of spaciousness within, we can consistently access this freeing, joyful connection with your world. Spaciousness allows us to truly enjoy this world because we can step back from it. It's much easier to understand others' sufferings and be from judgments when we can effortlessly access inner peace within ourselves. It's much easier to understand others' sufferings and be free from judgments when we can effortlessly access inner peace within ourselves. Effortlessly access. When we experience the center of our being as the infinite source of God itself, the pure consciousness, nothing can disturb us. We simply remain curious about our ego's demands, expectations, and projected outcomes on others. We become the divine watchers of every little event life offers. And we see the bigger picture of how it all fits together perfectly. It's as if you are sitting in the back seat of the mind, watching your personality driving down the road, making left and right turns along the way, while trusting completely and truly enjoying the experience of it all. Picture that. Your heart, mind's motion picture. It's as if you are sitting in the back seat of the mind, watching your personality driving down the road, making left and right turns along the way, while trusting completely and truly enjoying the experience of it all. 
by entering witness consciousness, we are able to decondition the mind and body, freeing them of the many negative habitual responses we're bound by, Lawrence Edwards. The secret to remaining at peace in any situation, any, any situation, is through retraining the mind. A daily meditation practice, the simple act of watching your thoughts wherever you are, creates a larger and larger gap in between your thoughts. This spacious gap is a place for you to deeply rest in. As you vigilantly observe each thought fly by, something inside you eventually surrenders to the space in between the thoughts. The more you watch, the more grounded and spacious awareness you become. We are all, we are truly present in li- in, to life because all the great stories are minds, because all the great stories our minds are regurgitating are no longer so important. Meditation allows us to access the most amazing calm and empowering place inside us where we can experience the truth of who we are, the vast boundless presence that is the God source itself. And with daily practice, we will soon discover how to live each moment of our day from a spacious place of love and peace with all it is. We, all of us, are divine beings. We truly are. And and that we are ridiculously intelligent. It is so spiritually spark, the divine being that we are, it knows where we are hiding and exactly how to get us to come out. It realizes that we would never know what true wholeness was like unless we believed we had a hole to fill. We cannot know what blissful freedom feels like until we experience the most imprisoning, limiting state of mind. The great mystery of life, this life, has this miraculous way of continuously teaching us what we must need to know for our enlightenment. There is not a moment that goes by where the universe is not inviting us to dive deeper inside and surrender more completely into the healing depths of our souls. We are constantly being summoned to come out of hiding. The universe wants us to appreciate this sweet spiritual gift of existence. It is always giving the God source to us, to liberate ourselves from the internal catacomb-like prisons of the mind. We are being constantly welcomed to see everything in our lives with absolute love and clarity. We always have this option to sit down, relax about it all, and understand our life's mission. Right now, we can stop everything and choose to live in total devotion and connection with our heart's spiritual presence. We all came into these bodies to discover that we are amazing, multidimensional, divine manifesting beings. To discover this, the only way we discover it is by entering these bodies. This huge and truly awesome task requires that we unleash our full power and reveal our ultimate treasure inside greatest treasure we have is found once we stop the mind and rest at our source of consciousness. This is meditation, and it is the divine doorway to opening our lives up to the highest states of energy, love, and consciousness. This temporary stopping of the mind happens every day, yet it's just whether we are doing it consciously or it's being done to us and have no way to create it. Perhaps both are true. Yet when we allow a new perception of reality in like like this one, it can radically change our lives forever. The coin, remember, 
has three sides to it. And they are all true. It's not too much doing, but the undoing that actually makes a shift occur. Letting go of the most minor shifts in perception, the slightest adjustments to how we are seeing life can totally transform our entire experience of who and what we are. The greatest guru is always within each and every single one of us, Maramana Marishi. Use your minds instead of being used by your mind. Use your mind instead of being used by your mind. Worship, respect, honor, and love this brilliant, all-powerful tool so you can create what you want in your life. Stop being unconsciously used by the tool. If you don't use the tool consciously, you will be used by it. This means don't get over-identified with your tool. Don't avoid your tool. And do not fight with your tool, your mind. The mind is not who you are, who any of us are. We are not the tool. Even if the mind tells us that we are a no-good failure 10,000 times, just know that you are 10,000 times closer to stepping back to become more conscious of your tool addiction and stop being used by it. Deep down realize that your soul is ultimately in charge and running the show. Trust in this always. Trust that life has a higher intelligence than you'll ever understand. And it is taking you on the most exquisite, unique ride through this world. So that one day, we all sit back and we become the Jedi masters of our minds and we experience the greatest form of satisfaction and pleasure. One last piece of advice. for you on your manifesting journey, which I believe is one of the most helpful ideas to learn, is this. Become devoted to being gentle with yourself, no matter what. Become devoted to being gentle with yourself, no matter what. When you can be gentle with your mind, you will master it and eventually be free from it. The mind will listen to you, instead of you always listening to it. When you can have full mastery over the mind, all you'll, you feel is a great love and gentleness with everything, thought, memory, and experience you come across on your inner world. This is real mastery. If you can be gentle, no matter what, no matter how crazy, irate, or demanding the world becomes, Make the promise to yourself right now that you will be gentle with you no matter what occurs. No matter what, enjoy the journey. It's guaranteed to get even better. 10,000 deeply eternal loving is to all. The earth has enough to satisfy every man's need, but not every man's greed. Mahatma Gandhi. So if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted. And I'm sure that we all are. And the first thing that we care to do is relax our bodies. Only you can do that. Nothing outside of you. Just you. Relaxing the body. Head to toe inside now. Now, since you're beginning to understand that you're not the body, that you're the pure consciousness God within the body, it, it, it becomes almost seamless to understand that all the things that we carry, that these bodies carry, the emotions, the, the heartache, the disappointment, the stress, the anxiety, the fear, the worry, 
the one thing. Don't serve us any greater good at all. None of us. We carry it out of habit because we don't know that we're the master. So we allow everything within, we allow everything with the body to master us. So it's just, it, it, it is really, truly through the heart mind. I release all of these tensions, fears, anxieties, and stresses, worries, now. I have no need for them. They do not serve me the greater good. This isn't out of anger. It's out of deep eternal love, gentleness, kindness, generosity, and humbleness. So you let them go. You'd be amazed what happens. It's just, it just, it's a decision that you decide, that you say to the mind, this is what we're going to do. And believe me, you'll know the difference because your body will become light. See, the purpose of this, the, the practice of it, to master it, is so that you leave the mind and ego alone. You do not participate with them, engage them. You leave them alone. You leave the mind and the ego. You release and surrender all of the irritations, anxieties, and fears and worries that the ego mind has generated for you. So you're stilling the mind. And your body is in a suspension of peace, tranquility, benevolence. This floats. There's nothing to weigh it down. It's been released. Anytime it tries to come back in, you release it again. And once you, you place the body in this suspension of peace, you're in the now. Because when you're in the now, you're not thinking. Why would you? You're not in the mind. In the now, you're just focused on the moment. You're thinking about the moment. You're in the moment. So you're just in the moment, moment to moment. And you'll notice that all the noise and the chatter and everything that we all have isn't there. So only in this moment, in the now, the breath. The breath through the nose and out the mouth. You want to know when you're in the now, focus on your breath, you're in the now. You won't need to ask yourself, am I in the now? You focus on the breath, you're in the now, every single time. And that breath is omnipotently powerful. It is divine positive energy. This, the soul, our God, the God that we are, that enters these bodies, powers the body. Everything comes online. Oxygen is produced. Breath is made available. So we sustain. The soul uh, gives the body the energy the power to sustain the soul, the God. Now, when the, when the soul is not in the body, the body cannot operate. It will cease. That's a fact, absolute fact. So we're always in the now who we choose to be. And we're consciously aware when we're not. The reason when we're not, we know it, because 
we have tens of millions of program thoughts running by every day, 24-7. They're like clouds in the sky, just floating by. We grab onto them. They're not our thoughts. We become seduced by them, and we're taken off either into the past or into the future that doesn't exist because we create the future in the now. So whenever that happens, it is imperative that you are gentle, kind, generous, humble, and in the deepest of gratitude 24-7. So you, okay, so you're wandered off. No biggie. You focus on your breath. And you're in the now. You could be doing this walking around. You could do it talking to people. Because when you wander off, you're, you're going to know just about every single time that you wandered off. And you will know exactly how to bring yourself into the now every single time. So we look at the mind because when you're in the now and, and you're not the body, you watch the mind and the ego because you've left them alone. You watch them how they operate. Okay? Not, that's not really difficult to do. You watch the mind and the ego. They're both illusions. The mind's an illusion that creates the ego as an illusion to assist it. So when we see the body, right, and we see the mind and the ego, then we start to learn how to master them. Always in gentleness and kindness and generosity and humbleness and deep gratitude. We also look at the body. How do you, the God, flow through that body? How do you? How do you literally constantly, 24-7, how are you flowing through that body? Energy is in constant movement. It never stops. It's, it, energy doesn't stop. It is always active. Expanding, growing, learning, gathering. So you, you look at the body and you, you can literally, all of us can see this, there are little, there are, colored wheels of light. They, they go from the coccyx of the, the tailbone all the way to the top of the head. Some people say there's more, there's less. We'll go with the seven. Those are energy conduits. They're, they're etherical spiritual plane. They're not, it's not like something that you can pick up with your hands. You're the God you are a spiritual plane. Ethers. Existence. So you flow through those energy vortexes, chakras, wheels of light, flowers. And by doing this, you cover every single quark in that body, on it, in it, above it, and below it, 24-7. You know every molecular structure, frequency, everything. Isn't that amazing? But the handlers of this planet have taught us to be distracted away from that so we would not have the capability and the conscious awareness that we could heal ourselves instantaneously. We can keep ourselves young as long as we choose. We can leave the body whenever we choose. You see how that works? When we talk about how powerful each and every single one of us are, it isn't made up. It is right on. This is why we talk about you are the power of healing. All this running around outside of ourselves incessantly, lifetime after lifetime, it ends in this lifetime. We no longer will chase ourselves around outside in the outside world outside of ourselves. It was a distraction for quite a long time, but it sure taught us a lot. Now, we all know, we consciously aware that we, our soul, God, pure consciousness, enters the body. The soul, the God, the pure consciousness, is heaven. 
the body's earth. And every step we take, we create paradise on this planet. Not only that, we shine our light 360 degrees 24-7. The light is the God force, love, light, energy within each and every single one of us. And it is the highest of the highest, highest, deepest of the deepest, deepest, purest of the purest, purest, eternal love, gratitude, peace. And it's flooding everyone on this planet. Everything. On it, in it, above it, and below it. Every civilization. Below the surface, on top of the surface, in the oceans, in the skies, in the upper atmosphere. It is flooding them all. And it never ends. Whole life, the highest supreme value in the universe, is being flooded with that which creates it, pure, deep, eternal love. Now, if you were to look at this planet, you know, you go out, outer space, a few hundred thousand miles maybe, you would see that it glowed. And it was so, it, it glowed so bright that there would be nothing in this universe that could come close to it. Over 8 billion gods within the body, eventually consciously aware. Man, oh man, what a sight that will be. We reach out to parts of ourselves that are consciously aware. We have parts of ourselves that are just completely asleep. Those parts that are completely asleep are with us in these meditations, but they can't participate because they cannot hear. They do not know yet so we call upon all the light energy beings and all that there is ever has been ever will be ever beyond and forever and that includes the archangels the cherubim the seraphim the archetypes the ascended masters Kuan Yin Maitreya Buddha Lakshmi Ganesh Gaia Saint Germain Christ El Moria Vedantia Pell Thoth Yahweh Yeshua Many, many, many more. That includes all the inhabitants of inner earth, hollow earth, Agartha, and beneath earth. All of celestials, galactics, and off-worlders. All of our loved ones who have ascended out of body in this lifetime and all lifetimes that we've inhabited. All that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. The archangels, a civilization that vibrates at a different frequency than we do. We don't see them like we see each other. We interact with them. We talk with them. Heck, some of us even marry them without knowing it. And they all send the same message to all of us. It's just in many different ways. And when it comes right down to it, it the message is this. Isn't it absolutely magna glorious to be alive in these bodies? And that is bliss. They can surround any one of us at any time by the tens of thousands because of their vibrational frequency. They can house a large number in a small area. The ascended masters, they have mastered ascension into physical form, out of physical form, hold pure consciousness, God form. We have ascended into physical form to master physical form, creating our experience to perfect our creations. All of the off worlders, celestials, galactic. And remember, these are gugaplexes. In all of this gathering, one gugaplex fills this universe with not even a sacred inch spared, available in the darkness of sacred space. 
Now, all of these light energy beings come in trillions of Googleplexes from trillions of universes. Now, as far as the galactics, off-worlders, celestials, we're only familiar with a smidgen of them. Over a thousand travel through this solar system alone every day. And of course, trillions throughout the universes every day. So the Pleiadians, the Syrians, the Arcturians, the Andromedans, the feline, Zeta Reticuli, Nords, Greys, Draco, Reptilian, Golden Pyramid, Avion. Many, many, many more. They've been assisting us in our evolution, enlightenment, ascension, freeing ourselves from our own self-imposed bondage and our own self-imposed slavery. It's like all of our loved ones who have ascended out of body in this lifetime and all lifetimes that we've inhabited. All these uh, light energy beings that we, we don't see that are on and above below this planet, because with the eyes that we have with these bodies, we only see 1% of what is. But they're there. And they come in shapes, colors, sizes, forms, and configurations of which we've never seen. Some familiarity with the fairies, the sprites, the elves, the gnomes, the dwarves, the trees, the trolls. The elementals, earth, air, water, fire, ether, wood, the mermaid, the dolphin, the whale, the pegasus, the unicorn, the centaur, the minotaur. Many, many, many more. And all of them, all of us gathered in this meditation. Only those out of all the gathering of us, because we're the sleepers and the awakers are all one anyway. But out of all of us, out of all the Googleplexes, gather in this meditation. Only those that are consciously aware that they are of and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love and of and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitude can be with us in this now, in this meditation, forming the circle of light and the complete liberation of this planet, Earth, Gaia, Arya, in this now. And we're all gathered arm in arm, hand in hand, in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, non-negativity, stillness of mind, gentleness, kindness, generosity, humbleness, bliss, joy, peace, tranquility, benevolence, prosperity, abundance. And we are all one. And we are all love, and we are all God. And our God force love light energy is in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond, and forever. And it continues to intensify, and it continues to expand. We immediately form a circle of light around the equator of this planet Earth, Gaia, Arya, and this now. This circle of light is formed from the God force love light energy within each and every single one of us. It is so powerful and so bright that it grays out the darkness of sacred space. It would take a billion trillion suns to even come close to its brightness. This brightness that we all are within these bodies is the highest of the highest, highest, the deepest of the deepest, deepest, and the purest of the purest, purest eternal love, that of which we are, flooding everyone on this planet, in it, on it, above it, and below it, 24-7, head to toe, all life, the highest supreme value in the universe, we begin to ascend above the planet. As we do, we come into full contact with this massive ocean of flood. It is everywhere. Googleplexes of reflective light splashing and hitting everywhere through us all, all gathered consciously, aware, to a certain extent.
it would be like this massive, like those ballroom glitter balls, but trillions of times more. Trillions of vibrant colors. So we look at the at the, the reflective point, and we notice that these little tiny microscopic mirrors. So we it's perfectly etched. We move into them. And we discover that all of us are interacting constantly. We are teaching and learning always from each other. No matter who comes into your life, they're teaching you something or learning from you something are both ways. This is why we experience in physical form such a massive diversity through all of us so that we can teach each other, learn from each other on our experiences may be totally different than yours. It's absolutely spectacular. It's phenomenal to have this understanding, to know it. And it is a knowing. We're immediately met with the emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael. This is the column of light that we created that reminds us all that we are the power of healing. We are then met with the violet, purple, blue flaming light of Archangel Michael. This is the column of light that we created that reminds us all of our omnipotent power, strength, and resolve. We are then met with the white fire. This is a column of light that we created to remind us all that we are imbued from head to toe, inside now, 24-7, indefinitely, permanently, eternally, infinity, with this white fire armor. This white fire armor emanates from the God force love light energy within each and every one of us. It is nothing like the armor on this planet. It is way beyond, and it cannot be penetrated, violated. No lower dark matter, survival matter frequencies. No demon possession, no attachments. They know they can't come close to us. If they do, they'll vaporize. So they stay away. Nothing can harm us, ever. Yet, only you, only you, only you have the power that if you decide to lower your vibrational frequency low enough, whether consciously or unconsciously, through hatred, anger, fear, greed, envy, hurriedness, anxiety, worry, you will create a breach in your white fire armor. Enough so to allow all the, large, all the lower dark matter, survival matter frequencies to come flooding in. Now, if you do decide to do this, you're immediately met with a double power of light that we created. The first one is the purple transmuting flame. This is a column of light that we created that reminds us all that we can bring in the purple transmuting flame. We can transmute all these lower dark matter, survival matter frequencies into neutral light substance, sending them to pure consciousness where they are literally no more. Right behind that, the violet ray. This is a column of light that we created that reminds us all that we can bring in the violet ray. We can cleanse and purify the area where these lower dark matter, survival matter frequencies were, sealing the breach in our white fire armor, restoring our vibrational harmony of the highest of the highest high, deepest of the deepest, deepest, and purest of the purest, purest, eternal love, gratitude, and peace. We are then met with the gold and white pink light. This is a column of light that we all created to remind ourselves that we are the sun, the sunlight. The sun sets and the sun rises. The rain and the rainbows. The oceans, the rivers, the lakes, the streams. 
the trees, the forest, the soil, all the animals, the sky, the clouds, the mountains. We are everything and everything is us. So the next time you view a sunset or sunrise, a rainbow, an ocean front, a mountain view, a starry lit night sky, it is you. You're the divine. You're the majesty, the beauty, the joy, the bliss. It is you. It is each and every one of us. It is the gods within each and every single one of us always has been, always will be, ever beyond and forever. We continue to ascend above the planet. Some of us step outside our physical form and hover effortlessly above them if we're carrying physical form. We do this because we can. We immediately come in contact with this massive crystal and light tower. We created it. It's larger than the solar system. In the center is this massive oblong sphere with this humongous golden white bowl of light in the center and surrounded by numerous multicolored rings of light. Now all of this is sending waves of looks like glitter, but it's sparkling energy, God force, love, light, energy, and it's saturating all of us. The golden white bowl of light is the highest of deepest, purest, eternal love. Then comes the, uh, the highest of the deepest, the purest of eternal gratitude and peace and well-being and gentleness, kindness, generosity, and humbleness. Great wealth, great abundance, great prosperity. And all of this, nonstop, infinitum, is a reflection of the gods that we all are. It reminds us always of who and what we are. At the top of this tower, we designed it so the golden ocean can come cascading down 360 degrees as it's doing right now, as it has been doing eternally. This is the highest of the highest high, the deepest of the deepest, deepest, and the purest of the purest, purest. The eternal love, gratitude, and peace. All of us, all life, the highest supreme value in the universe, all of our brothers and sisters, whether they're awake or asleep, constantly. You can feel the vibration through your heart minds. You can see it through your heart minds motion picture. We are all drops of this golden ocean. We also hold the essence of this golden ocean. The golden ocean is the drops, the drops of the golden ocean. And the only illusion is separation. We continue to ascend above this planet. We come into full contact with our meditative sphere. sphere. It's at center circle. We created this sphere well over three and a half years ago. It houses all of our meditations in perpetual motion. Imagine that. Hundreds of millions consciously aware gathered focused on this planet from all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. Flooding everything, all of us, nonstop, feeling that vibrational frequency this is, why the, this is why the new earth is created. This is why things are shifting so rapidly. It is because of all of us. All of these creations that we've put in place through gentleness, kindness, generosity, and humbleness. 
in the deepest of gratitude, love, and peace. This is why this meditative sphere can be seen, heard, and felt in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond, and forever. And it continues to intensify, and it continues to expand. The journey is of discovery. We are all discovering who and what we are in our own way, in our own choosing, in our own direction. But we are still one. We are the one God. Each of us make up the one God. The one God is the pure consciousness, which is all that there is. It is the source of all creation. All that there is ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. And it is constantly expanding. As each piece of the pure consciousness becomes fully aware, consciously, that's when everything shifts and changes. We increase the vibrational frequency. We're doing that every single microsecond. There's nothing forced. There's nothing pushed. There's nothing manipulated. It is just pure, deep, eternal love. Gratitude and peace. Flooding everything nonstop. And it will not cease. It will continue throughout eternity. It's just becoming consciously aware of it and being able to guide it, direct it. I'll join in the meditation and return to close us out.
take an easy breath in through the nose and an easy breath out through the mouth. Move easily and slowly. Enlightenment is nothing but realizing the fact that I am that which I have always wanted to be and I have never been anything else and I cannot be anything else ever. There have been records of people whose first experience of themselves was just a belly laugh, seeing the absurdity of what they were trying to do. They were trying to be themselves. That is the only impossible thing in the world because you are already it. How can you try to be it? Take this with you for the rest of the day, into the evening and night, and into the following morning, and we will return here Sunday, September 5th, 2021, to continue our Global Guided Meditation meditation 